Noah Friedel's three-pointer right here in this corner is what ultimately would send James Madison over the top of Louisiana. 68-61 to 61 would be the final, and it would snap the Cajuns' 19-game home win streak. But let's see what happened leading up to that pivotal moment in the game. UL looked to give James Madison their first loss of the season. First half, they looked determined to do just that. Good ball movement leads to a Kobe Julian triple from the corner. Cajuns up 5-3 early. Now this one seemed to be all about Hosanna Katinje early on. The forward bullying his way to the basket and finishing with 11. Cajuns led by as many as eight. But you can never keep a good team down. Jalen Carey gets to the cup. Give him the hoop plus the harm. UL led by one at recess. Second half, Dukes went up as much as 14. The combination of TJ Bickerstaff and Terrence Edwards Jr. combining for 33 total points. But Louisiana's defense would help them close down the margin. Joe Charles with the pickpocket steal. And Kentrell Garnett gets to the cup. He had a team-high 17 points. It'd be 56-55 to 55 with three minutes to go. But in the closing minutes, Noah Friedel came up clutch. First with a triple at the top of the key. And then one from the corner as the Dukes snapped the Cajuns' home win streak 68-61. We believe every game that we can play with anybody. I think this game was, I think it's the best we played so far, the hardest we played so far. So um, I just think this is a stepping stone in the future for us. And we woke up this morning the same way they did, put our shoes on and our socks on the same way. So for us, we weren't, uh, we weren't scared of the matchup. We weren't trying to know whatever. We were just going out there trying to play 40 minutes of good basketball. Well, we played extremely hard. And if we make shots, I think we win. Uh, and, and catch a break or two. We didn't get many breaks tonight, I didn't think. This team has a lot of pride uh, and, and feel like that we'll get back in this race, even though we have the worst schedule in Division I conference play. The Cajuns now fall to 0-2 in Sunbelt play, and they will now try to regroup as they get ready to face off with Coastal Carolina on Saturday. Covering the Cajuns, Jamarcus Fitzpatrick, KTC Sports.